welcome back to another video so guys i'm just gonna share a clip of julius malema sharing his insights on south african economy and his smart ideas people believe that malema is not really smart you know he just like being stubborn and everything but some of his ideas guys needs to be innovated you know. if i continue please do me a favor do not forget to subscribe for more interesting videos on my channel so guys people believe that as Fred Shivampu left the EFF, it will suffer, you know. I don't believe that it will suffer. It has many young people and many smart brains like Malema and other ones, you know. Even if not Malema, but it has many young smart people which can take it to another level. And with people like Malema with this kind of ideas, guys, I believe that the EFF can really go far. Listen to what... I want to make sure that we open our economy for all to participate we industrialize we beneficiate in south africa and that's why you are saying where will the money come from to do all of this we've got so many min minerals lined up on the freeways uh, to richards bay getting out of this country you must know that the day you take out chrome put it in a truck and take it to richards bay as it goes passing all places into richards bay those are jobs that are going to be created in a particular country through beneficiation. So we need to beneficiate here in South Africa. We need to industrialize here in South Africa. We need to reopen all the factories that were created by Bantustan governments. In Sishiu, in uh, everywhere else, there are factories that have collapsed. Why do you open those factories? Those factories must produce the things that we use every day. Why should we wait for a plate to come from China? People use plate every day. Mm. We wait for toothpick. We wait for matchsticks. We don't produce matchsticks. All of this, we don't produce television. But, but, but why? We do, because this government has gone into trade agreements with other countries. Let's take Germany, for instance. Our trade agreements with Germany says we cannot manufacture a car. We will assemble the cars from Germany. And we don't just assemble. We put money to assemble German cars. Why should we do that? Why should we not produce, manufacture our own car? Where is the market? Africa loves everything South African. They will buy from us. We produce a fighter jet. A fighter jet. If we can produce a flying machine, it shouldn't be difficult to produce a car. Dinell has demonstrated that we've got the capacity to do this. Dinell manufactures uh -huh. uh, army vehicles. And why are we not producing a car? It's trade agreements with Europe with America, with UK, that you are not going to get involved in this. We use cell phones. My grandmother used to use a cell phone uh, well busy with uh, farming in small scale uh, farming there. And I realized when the Gogos are now using cell phones that this is in demand. Why are we not looking at what is in demand in South Africa and produce it? And when we produce it, we grow our economy and we create jobs. So, guys, mm. this is a side of Julius Malema. They hardly show everyone, you know. The media has been paid up, you know, to speak negatives and highlight negatives only about Julius Malema. Saramaposa is never, you know, questioned about anything. Palapala, pala, the, the mess that Saramaposa has created, you know, is never talked about anymore. You know, I think Saramaposa and the ANC have been smart to a point where they realize that only way for Saramaposa to carry on, you know, destroying this economy without people complaining is if they control the media. You know, this media currently has been saying positive things about government of national unity government of nationality has been showing lots of success but it's not that good guys you know do not be fooled by everyone government of national unity is still you no know, is still not addressing the main things you know we need to innovate a lot of things in this economy guys you know this economy needs industries as you guys heard my lemma you know there are so many things that should be manufactured here and we are getting from outside that is wrong guys Julius Malema actually has a valid point you know South Africa can can manufacture so many things you know open the farms old farms you know 
and create industries instead of us getting things from overseas you know we do have the the smart people to do all of those things the government needs to find those smart ideas you know but the west countries don't want those ideas to be funded because it would mean that the revenue that they are getting from us would go low guys you know so they want to continue stealing the mineral resources you know julius malema is the only one that south africans are overlooking the smartest politicians that they have but they will only realize when it's too late that they actually you know we're sleeping on Malema, you know. Julius Malema, Julius Malema's idea, guys, are just out of this world. People are saying Malema this and that, you know. They are highlighting the negative things only about him. So, guys, the main reason they have been spreading false narratives about Julius Malema is because he is a very, very serious threat, you know. But you guys can always hear Malema's ideas, but you never give him a chance, you know. South Africans are not willing to give Julius Malema a chance because they have been they have been told that Malema is working for the white people. Malema does not have best interest at heart for South Africans. And it's very, very wrong, guys. Me personally, I believe that Malema needs to be given benefit of the doubt, you know. And his his greatness is slowly fading away because South Africans are busy being fooled, you know. They have been sold false things false ideas on the media they have been told that the government of national unity is currently solving south african problems you know and it's it's not the only way that uh, the problems in this country are solved is the if if the wealth is shared among south africans not only a specific group of people you know only way that South Africans are gonna benefit from this economy is if everyone, you know, is getting the piece of the wealth that this country has, you know. Until then, guys, the government of nationality or anything, it doesn't matter. Only Julius Malema, I feel like Julius Malema or Jacob Zuma can do a serious change for this economy because they are one of the only politicians who are willing to nationalize things that can benefit the citizens you know the reserve bank if the reserve bank is being nationalized it would not really benefit south africans that much but guys there are so many things that can benefit citizens like mines you know banks some most of the banks is really hard for south africans to benefit even if they are national but when it comes to natural resources i totally agree with jacob zuma and julius malema you know because those things are the real wealth of this country south africa is a very rich rich country when it comes to mineral resources and people are not really taking that one seriously they are taking it for granted you know they are taking our minerals overseas to create jobs for other people and it's very very wrong this country will never benefit guys thank you so much for watching you guys share thoughts on the comment section below what you think it don't forget to subscribe for more latest updates